Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, <clears throat> excuse me, I will be reacting green to episodes five and six of The Dangers in My Heart. So let's go ahead and get started with episode five in three, two, one. Yeah, unfortunately. You can join us. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, she, all four of them seem like they're comfortable more with him, so, I mean, I would, too. She's right.
He's right. Oh. dummies but see I love the fact that he did that only so that he can spend time with Yamada I mean that's a little reckless to be like hey yo I'm kind of dumb but like no baby we like smart guys of course it was Well, duh. See, okay, you say that and then let me know how everything goes later on in this show because, I, I okay, I did see like a little um snippet last Saturday with them and I was like, oh, okay, can't wait to get to that part. That would be, not this Saturday coming up, the following Saturday. So last Saturday's date was... <laughs> the 17th. <laughs> right I mean you're just like a major hottie you, she ain't have any boyfriend I get that right No, you don't need one. You, look, look, look. Independent. As we talked about with last week's episode. Self-mother effing love. That's what we need at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Uh oh. Oh my God. <laughs> No. Mhm. Yeah, basically.
Now, you know, when these two have kids, you know, kids going to be like, hey, mom, dad, how did you meet? In the library. <laughs> but, like, yeah, your dad was secretly kind of obsessed with me. Like, mm. He wanted that good, good. <laughs> Baby, you like her. You've already established it. You're just kind of really beating around the bush with yourself. No. Get him, Cody. Yeah, Poncho. Oh. Forgot your umbrella, huh? You could, you little, you cute, I can't speak. You cute little short king. Right? I mean, I think you're going to get distracted by food or whatever, but I, I think you're going to come back. Oh, oh my God! after her. That's so sweet. You're gonna get sick though. Mm -hmm. Umbrella. Those are broken. Probably. <laughs> ah! Of course she was going to buy snacks. Yeah.
The fact that his Seiyu is also homeboy from Rent a Girlfriend, but one of my personal favorites from Akudama Drive. Like, I'm still so proud of him and how far he's come, even though I didn't really like Rent a Girlfriend. But yay! I'm just so happy for him. Hmm. We're here for work. This is important. <laughs> you know anything by um about a pff, oh my god what the fuck is the name of that show I'm literally blanking and I'm gonna remember it probably by the time I end the episode <laughs> oh boom re-zero <laughs> Well, that's a lie, boy. That's really something you don't want to honestly talk to a girl about, is boobs. Only if she's for, you know, the other team, then yeah. But if she's straight, nah, we don't really want to talk about boobs. Come on. Yeah, it's got all I want to say. He looked at her and she looked by. Oh my god. Uh, help me. Oh, damn. Just look, don't instantly stare at the boobs or the thighs. Look up, find something, imagine it, and there you go. Look at her face or something. Well, I mean, you excited about the final season of Beastars? Me, I am, but at the same time, I'm sad. <laughs>
I mean, who knows? There are some guys who are secretly into that. Why don't you just ask her, baby? Did you miss the train? Oh. I hope that wasn't the last train. Okay. One thing I'm going to say also about Yamada, she kind of reminds me of what's her face from um Hayoka in a way. I don't remember her name. It's been it's been a real long time since I watched Hayoka. That was like as of now 4 years ago <laughs> cuz that was on my to-do list for like the longest time and I said you know what since we're in pandemic mode I might as well watch it and I instantly fell in love with it not only because you know there's a certain say you in that show that I have a big crush on and everything but now yeah it was so good I loved it as someone who loves the shit out of mysteries and such 10 out of 10 but no I mean I love the way that she instantly always stares at him and she looks real like deeply at Ishikawa it's almost like she's looking at his soul or into his soul. And it's something about that I like. And just their long little gazes at each other. Something about that is just, oh, it warms my heart like so freaking much. I cannot with these two. I do also love the fact that, you know, once again, we're, we got another freaking week of talking about self freaking love and such and being, you know, independent and such. I mean, we talked about that essentially, like I said last week, because, you know, last week was Valentine's Day and such. But, at the end of the day, regardless, you still, it, it's okay to be by yourself. It's okay, you know, not to immediately have a boyfriend or girlfriend or a significant other. There is still nothing wrong with that. Um, my last boyfriend, I was 20, 20, 27 or 28 and such. Um, we weren't really together. We were together about like a good year and such. Um, and he was sweet to me, but you know, majority long story short and stuff. I've, cause I've told this is like, he ghosted me and I now kind of look at, I, I don't really look at every relationship as like, I feel like a guy is going to ghost me and such. I am just very now cautious of every guy who I talk to. Not only that, but it's like, okay, so t my TikTok for you page has been very on, on the nose on some of my ish. Siri, shut, shut up. Shut up. I ain't talking to you. I'm sorry, my phone. Every single time if I say something that sounds like Siri, she wants to go ahead and be like, let me enter myself in the conversation, don't you know? Um, they're like, nah, bitch. But my biggest thing is this, like, okay. So looking at me and such my i of course being a black woman um i my most women most black women like me we are the most like I, I, we're kind of the most desirable but then at the same time we're not it, it's really like apples and oranges um in a way i'm not really sure i have to go back and do like some looking at some articles and, and such but um my issue is this any guy that I typically talk to and eventually get to know, my biggest thing is especially because, like, I, I could be at work and I can have, like, a flirty conversation with someone, but initially in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, oh, hey, do you like black girls and such. And so on my For You page, on my TikTok and on my Twitter everything, that's always what I see is, 
oh, hey, go shoot your shot on this guy, go shoot your shot on that guy, or hey, take a chance on him. But the biggest thing is always in the back of my mind, and I think it will always be like that for me, is, okay, hey, do you like black girls like that? I'm not trying to be like one of those girls or woman, women, because, you know, I am a fucking woman, um, who will go on Twitter or... Um, freaking TikTok or make a stuff, a, a fucking YouTube comment and being like, oh yeah, let me say, like, find the guys, you know, like, black girls in the edge. Um, sometimes because that can be really, really cringeworthy and such. Do not do that. Regardless, do not do that on Twitter. Do not do that on TikTok. Do not do that on, um, YouTube. Don't do that on any social media. Go out and, you know, venture out and find somebody. You never know where the hell you're going to meet. Yeah, my last relationship was someone on the freaking internet and such, but I did get to meet him, you know, because, duh, Discord, Skype at the time. <laughs> um, and FaceTiming and such. But, yeah, I mean, still, I had some good memories with him. But, um, as I said, you know, now I'm in my, I, I rather kind of be by myself stage. And once again, as I said, I am okay with that extremely and such. But with these two, yeah, like they always warm my heart every single time when they're together. And I'm just like, oh yeah, I kind of want to, you know, kind of want to be with someone, you know, that'd be so nice if I could have someone like this. But you know, everything that we see in the anime ain't going to work out like that and such. But whoever, you know, wherever that person who is out there for you, they're out there. You just, you know, you may least expect it. They come at a time maybe when you don't expect it. And something about that's really good. You just never know who you're going to meet. So at the end of the day, still stay positive and such. Yeah, I, I may be at work me mugging some people, some guys, and be like, I, I'm not into you like that. But I will still let you down very, like, gently. I've already had, like, funny enough, I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this. I've had, like three or four guys, like, ask for my number, and I'm like, hey, like, you, you cute, you flatter me, and such, sweet, but no thank you, I'm good, um, and some people have been nice about it, and some people are not so nice, but, you know, just take your time, you'll find someone, I'm not only saying this to you, I'm also saying this to myself, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode six, alrighty, episode six in three, two, one, one, go. <sighs> Please, for the love of God, don't let it be the last train. I'm <laughs> Now what? How are you getting home? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's not the last train. And besides, you can text them. <laughs> yeah, no, honey. No, don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want something to eat? You want something to drink? Look at the kid. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I mean, because, you know, the way it looks, it looks like you possibly broke up with her and she's just crying. Go console her. Yep, get her a soda or something to eat. Yeah. But at the same time. <laughs> I, I 
mean, but at the same time, she should have, <laughs> she should have really said something to the rest of the group. Yeah, at least somebody has to probably recognize her. <laughs> no. It's okay. No. That's right. <laughs> That looks good. I'm not like a sunny side up egg kind of gal, but mm. it makes you wonder how it would be with scrambled toast. I mean, with scrambled toast. <laughs> scrambled eggs. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because we can see the look on your face. Da 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 da. Yeah, all because of her. Yeah, you're not your little cute little emo self anymore.
No, are you waiting for Ichikawa? Mm-hmm. No, she's waiting for you. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, what? Duh! You're, you're literally spoiling everything! Still gonna read it though. <laughs> like major character death, still gonna read it. Something happens, still gonna read it. I was waiting for you. <laughs> That's okay. Exactly like that. Like a cute little squirrel eating. Eating and reading. Reading and eating. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, once again, is there something wrong with that? A guy and a girl can literally be close without having a relationship or anything. Oh my God. No.
Yeah. True. I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of guys I've actually had crushes on and stuff, but as we talked about in the previous video. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, baby. Don't listen to him. Ichikawa, you really, truly like her. Her personality. Besides the fact of her figure and her body. Yeah, yeah. Something tells me he might end up being a completely different person by the end of this series. <laughs> to go from, like, this big, huge perv to, like, a really smart, sophisticated guy. He's still cute, though. Not only because his voice actor is Bakugo. That's, like, third reason. I mean, when you're around her, you light up. Literally me with my girlfriends and seeing like a really hot guy and like <laughs> What's wrong? Oh No, it wasn't. It was. Or somebody could have seen trash. possibility Zoom in on her face. <laughs> ah.
Yeah, but you you do care. You do. Because you want to be around her. Right? You'll get in trouble. Oh, no. Right? instantly like was like oh hiding let me hold your hand <laughs> I can't with them once again they too fucking much like literally he just to save her butt he just is like I gotta grab your hand I know I'm probably gonna melt the crap out of this candy but I'd rather us get in trouble for just, like, embracing hands or touching hands instead of you getting in trouble over a snack. But that's sweet. And once again, his sister is right. He is more ex excited about going to school and such. Every time he's around Yamada, like, he literally, as I said, he lights up. He's a completely different person around her. Yes, he's still a little shy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it looked more like a cough drop, so that really could have been anyone. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, ho hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Long story short, baby, you kept the bag. I'm trying not to laugh or cry. <laughs> I, I think that's sweet. A, a little stalkerish, kind of. That's how, you know, creepy ass stories and such. Because you end up taking things of people, like, that belong to them. First, it starts with, like, little simple things and such. It could be, like, yeah, a wrapper of something. And the next thing you know, you take it in the hair. Hair follicles. And then you're going to have a plastic bag full of her hair. And then, you know, um, let's say one night she's sleeping and stuff, you decide to take underwear or clothes or her bra or something. I don't think you're going to do that. So, but you know, those are just the stages. Like, so, you know, just secretly watch out. I'm just saying, you know, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, but no, 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 they still cute together. But the fact is at the end of the day, he kept the bag. <laughs> Ishikawa, what the hell, baby? But no, like, seriously. <laughs> a little weird, but I get it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Dear future boyfriend slash husband, don't do that for me, okay? Just whatever I give you. If I buy you something, you can keep it. Even if we break up, you can still keep it. Because I, I did do that once. I bought one thing for the ex ex husband lord the fuck ex boyfriend and after that I never did something for him again because in the end we broke up but yeah <laughs> once again they so freaking cute I cannot with them there it, it's too much with these two once again and I'm just like yeah hello diabetes diabetes of an anime diabetic coma right now Jesus effing Christ I I cannot but no like seriously um, I love the fact is that we got to see a scene with his whole family, so him, his sister, and his mom, because the only scene that we've seen with family members is his sister and such. I do hope that, like, her, at least his mom gets, like, a speaking role moment and such. Um, you know, maybe he might go for advice or whatever, but, you know, typically you're gonna go for your sister and then go to your mom, you know, just in case you want more opinions and stuff like that. And nothing's wrong about that. You pick people who you have to go to for advice and such. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I do kind of also want to see Yamada and his sister possibly interact. Like, yes, you know, when they were coming into the, you know, the fake McDonald's and such in the one episode. Um, I don't count that. I count when they're face to face, they're able to talk and such. So yeah, when we ever get that, we may not get that in the first half of this show. We might get it in the second half, but honestly, I cannot wait. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes five and six of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for everyone else and next Saturday for Patreons for episodes seven and eight. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.